Joe Smith Jr. is an iron worker in New York, a union member, Sullivan Barrera, a Cuban refugee. And tonight, they are gonna go at it with a lot on the line in 175 pounds. Yesterday's weigh-in was one where you saw two dudes that just ripped, but they know what's on the table tonight. These are two modern day light heavyweights who had big 2016. That man, Joe Smith, with two victories over Andres Fonfar in this very same building, sent Bernard Hopkins out of the ring and into retirement. And Sullivan Barrera, just one loss to the incomparable Andre Ward, has established himself as a legitimate top five or six light heavyweight in what is a deep division full of contenders and big name champions. Joe Smith Jr., Sullivan Barrera at the Forum in Inglewood, California. Fight hard, fight clean, good luck to both of you. Underway in Inglewood, California, 12 rounds. Joe Smith Jr., the average man was his nickname because he's a blue collar kind of guy. Stop, stop. Sullivan Barrera, 35 years old. Mention left Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, fought all over the world representing the Cuban national team. He's not part of that Cuban school of boxing, though. This guy comes with it. No, he's not. Number one, he's not Southpaw. And I think he does understand that entertainment value is certainly valuable in this sport. When you're not boxing for trophies or medals, sometimes it's not how, it's not if you win, it's how you do so. Good and luck. I think many people are finding that to be a very, very fruitless pursuit. And I think thus far, a pretty good round number one for Sullivan Barrera. Doing a nice job of boxing from the outside, and he's landing all the meaningful punches here thus far in round number one. A lot on the line for these two in this division. These are the upper echelon of the light heavyweights. Andre Ward runs the division, and down oh! goes Barrera in the first. A left from Joe Smith. Drops Barrera here in the opening round. And here they are. And Beto, we talked about the legitimate power. That is the sledgehammer of Joe Smith. And Sullivan Barrera doing something very smart here, just grappling and holding and trying to wean off the last six, seven seconds of this round. As Smith stares at Sullivan Barrera. Sullivan Barrera seems to have his wits with him. This is why they call it the eraser, Beto. You can make a lot of mistakes, and most of this round was being controlled by Sullivan Barrera, but one punch like that can erase a lot of mistakes. Quick left hook to the top. Not right on the temple, but close to it. Yeah, and as you saw Sullivan Barrera jump right up, he was a bit wobbly on his pin. Joe Smith. Nicknamed the Irish Bomber. 18 of his 22 victories. Or 19 KOs in his 23 victories. Grew up in Shirley, Long Island. And Sullivan Barrera, when he fought Slava Shabransky, he dropped Shabransky early. Shabransky came back and dropped him in the second. He went on to drop Shabransky two more times because that fight was ended in the fifth. So he knows how to overcome obstacles started boxing at the age of 13 to stay out of trouble because he was fighting in the streets good Ooh. right by Barrera Smith right there with him that chin is granite Beto these are two big strong strapping 175 pounders winging leather early on to a certain degree is an elimination process of sorts to see if they are in line to face Sergey Kovalev as I mentioned earlier and I think a pretty good round number two for Barrera, who's controlled things from the outside from a certain distance when he's establishing his jab like he did right there. Very difficult for Smith to really puncture that airspace. Stop, 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 stop. Bringing it in to start the third is the Cuban Barrera. And again from the outside, just simply controlling things with distance and flashing that right hand. Beto, this is looking a lot like the Shabransky fight. After he hit the canvas, Barrera just steadily beat him from the outside with that right hand. And right now, he's just shellacking Smith with a series of punches with both hands. Maybe you talk to Sullivan Barrera, he's like, yeah, I fought him, but it just wasn't anything there. Yeah, but certainly Ward knows how to do one thing. That is consistently win. But just below that level of Madonna Stevenson, Kovalev, and Ward, another name that I did not mention that I believe is very highly touted, the Dimitri Bivol. Yeah. Now, that's another very young, lively contender that I think is going to make some noise. 
And this much is evident. When Bernard Hopkins touched Joe Smith, he really didn't phase him. Yep. Sullivan Barrera is certainly stunning and stopping him in his tracks. Right if hand, not uppercut, another right hand. Smith can take it. Swinging for the fences is Smith. That's desperation from the Long Island fighter. Well, Barrera needs to be careful. Like I said, he can't be too greedy because Joe Smith, if he hits you with something, he can yep. hurt you. He does have that pop. He does have that power in that hand. 10 seconds to go in the fourth round. Uppercut again. Sullivan Barrera splitting the guard anytime he wants here in the fourth. Barrera has some power and Smith has some chin. Here in the fifth, Steve, how do you have it at the four? Well, 10-8 certainly for Joe Smith with the big knockdown in a round that he was losing mostly. And then rounds two, three, and four, I think Sullivan Barrera has won those. I have it 38-37, Sullivan Barrera. In the fifth, scheduled for five. Barrera controlling that ring. Joe Smith's been on his heels most of this fight. Right hand from Barrera. Overhand right, another right. Into the corners, Smith holds on. This is, I'm getting the sense here as we move into round number six. Joe Smith needs to do something dramatic to really turn the tide of a fight that's becoming more and more one-sided as the rounds go on. Sullivan Barrera. Got dropped in the first after that. Picked himself up. He's controlled this fight. Good body shot. Beto, Sullivan's actually done a nice job of going and varying his right hand. Yep. Sometimes he'll actually go down to the ribs and then come up top. I can't remember a fight where Joe Smith has backed up willingly so often. He's moving back and yeah. forth. And again, he's known as a puncher. He is not known as a real boxer. Well, I, I believe you wrote about this. The big test question with him was, what kind of fighter was he when yep. he fights somebody on his level? Bernard right. Hopkins, who's turning 52. Right. Ponfaro, he blew him out, so he really couldn't engage anything. Before that, it was club fighters in the New York scene. Joe Smith Jr. snapping that jab is the Cuban Barrera. Right hand from Barrera. Uppercut, oh, that snap back the head. And he's still standing as Joe Smith, smacking his glove together, saying, let's go. And he lands the left of his own. <laughs> Barrera walking back, flexing that arm. Same with Barrera, asked him a couple questions about it. He was like, yeah, I got caught a couple times, and that was it. You see what happened Right hand, and Joe Smith is getting caught. Every time Joe Smith tried to step forward, he ran right into a jab. An excellent night so far for Sullivan Barrera. 35-year-old Cuban. I think it's very simple, rounds two through seven, steadily, Sullivan Barrera is dominating this fight one round at a time. 68-64, Sullivan Barrera. They're telling him to let his hands go, but Smith can't. Barrera's right there. He can't and he won't. And for a guy that has to know that he's down big on the scorecard, stop, I, I don't see a stop. guy everybody really stop. being bold in terms of taking stop. chances, because every time he does, he runs into something. Again, just like that, that yeah, one-two, yeah. right down the pipe. He's already had the doctor check him out. Yep. Going to the ninth. He was scheduled for 12, 175 pounders. In the division controlled by Andre Ward. Setting themselves up for the next potential fight. I think Sullivan Barrera has done a good job, Steve, of getting himself back into that mix. Shabransky was an up-and-comer, stopped him. Paul Parker was an opponent, controlled him. Joel Smith will be another test. Yeah, yeah, fine. 
the 10th round. So is this the final round now? Jack Reese brought them together. Huh? My paper says 12, the graphic says 12, but Jack Reese brought them together like it looked like it was the final round. But regardless, we're gonna call it here. Sullivan Barrera, I think Steve has controlled nine or eight of the nine rounds we've had complete. It's just with fundamentals and being sound. Basically, it does come down to the basics. And you can go and post any single Instagram video of you looking great on mitts, or the pool noodles, or a highlight video of just working the bag, looking amazing, but it's the basic fundamentals that get you in the, in the fight. Because you're never gonna throw that 10 punch combination in a fight. Yeah. And no, and also it's very hard to throw any punch properly if that stick is coming right on your chin as you see Smith with the wild swing and a miss. There's, there really is a desperate quality to the attack of Smith. Very sporadic. It's almost as if Sullivan Barrera knows it's coming before Smith even begins to attempt it. Will Smith, the iron worker, knows all about putting in a day's work. And right now, it is tough. It's a day's work. He's used to breaking the ground with that sledgehammer. He's the iron wall in front of him in Sullivan Barrera. He was able to crack him a little bit in the first, and that was it. Stop, no more points. Come on, come on, come on. Pushing back Barrera. As Jack Reese is warning Barrera for the hold. Well, well desperate times calls for desperate measures. That might be the most resistant Sullivan Barrera has gotten since the end of the first round. Not so sure what that conversation was about. Mr. Reese, I'm pretty sure he said. As Herrera going upstairs, moving back, Joe Smith. Both bouncing around that ring. Both over the rival gloves. Stop, go ahead, go ahead. Turn around. A lot of that tonight, though, too, right? Where they come in, they kind of clash, and they yeah. move around. Stop. Holding on, they're clenching. Whatever he wants. Stop punching, stop punching. And that will do it. It was a 10 round fight. All right. So look at this fighter, and here's Michael Buffer. Omar Mindoon scores at 96 93. Eddie Hernandez Sr. has it 97 92. Fernando Villarreal scores at 97 92. All three scorecards go to the winner by. Unanimous decision, and new WBC International Light Heavyweight Champion, Sullivan Barrera. El Cubano gets the victory. Maybe some pastelitos and a cortadito for him next, says Sullivan Barrera. Improves at 20 and 1. <laughs>